FOMO, take out a second mortgage on the house, sell your kidney, sell a child, because Zilliqa is breaking out bullishly. In this video, we will delve into some technical analysis and talk about what I see happening with Zilliqa, both short term and long term. So if you like the sound of that, please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and hit that bell icon to be notified of new uploads. We'll be breaking down your favorite cryptos all throughout this bull run. Guys, you know, um, I hate to brag. No, I don't. I'm going to brag. I've been calling Chainlink, Polkadot, Ren perfectly throughout this you know last few days and weeks you got to stay tuned to this channel mandatory viewing content now zilliqa is in this wedge that we seem to be breaking out bullishly out of now there's a few ways to call zilliqa right now let's assume that really because let's take the conservative scenario here let's assume zilliqa was actually like in a hold on what's going on in a descending triangle here okay descending triangle Let's, let's assume this is the case, and we take the height of this triangle to the breakout point. I think we're going uh, to 11 cents sooner rather than later, in my opinion. Now, guys, this is not a guarantee. There is a few things that we need to keep in mind. This could be a fake out. Coins love to break out bullishly and then fake out and go the opposite direction. That happens all the time. So there's a few very important things that we need to keep an eye out for if we are likely to see continued bullish trending. We need to keep our eye out for Bitcoin dominance. If Bitcoin dominance decides to rally and pump up, that's likely to negatively affect the altcoins such as Zilliqa. The dollar index, if the dollar continues to rally, that's likely to negatively affect currency and cryptocurrency and altcoins such as Zilliqa. We need to keep an eye out for, for those two things as well. Let's take a look at our indicators. I haven't even taken a look at, look at them yet. Let's take a look at our daily. Daily on the way up, stochastic on the way up, RSI, higher highs, higher lows. MACD, my Instagram ticking up. Daily looks bullish. Let's look at the six hour indicators. Okay. So with our six hour here, things look a bit extended with the stochastic. Um, whenever the stochastic is in the overbought region like this, it's just a matter of time before we have a leg down. But the thing about the stochastic, it doesn't tell you the extent to the change in the trend, just that there's, an, there's a change in a trend coming. So what may indeed happen in the near future and, and this is something that coins love to do. They break out bullishly, move up, fall back down to retest the breakout point, and then continue moving upwards. So something like that is definitely a possibility. But let's, let's look into this uh, some, a bit further here. I get a better sense of what's going on. Four hour on the way up, RSI, higher highs. So things still look bullish uh, based off the four hour indicators. Let's take a look at the hourly. Okay. Okay. So yeah, hourly on price. Yeah. Okay. So guys based off the hourly it does seem like we want to have a bit of a, of a move downward i think we're going to fall back down like uh seven five cents retest the breakout point stochastic rsi bears crossover although we just had a bullish one uh momentum waves i think it's a matter of time before we have a bears crossover rsi very close to the overbought region and macd starting to tick down on the hourly so guys you know maybe something like this i feel like makes sense to be honest uh, things may not play out exactly like this, but based off the larger time frames and based off this descending triangle slash wedge slash bull flag situation we have going on with Zilliqa, um, I think we have a good chance of seeing bullish continuation here. And like, let's say optimistic uh, scenario, I say we go about 15 cents soon, uh, nearly doubling Zilliqa's uh, price. Um, I think that's entirely plausible. Uh, to happen in the short to midterm. Now, in order to see that happen, a few things need to happen. Bitcoin dominance needs to continue to, to at the very least, not pump, can either consolidate or dump. The dollar uh, correcting downward would really help things out. But really, we need Bitcoin and Ethereum to not absolutely tank uh, <laughs> in order to see continuation on some of these alts. Uh, if they either just consolidate sideways or make, you know, a small, small movements downward, um, same with Ethereum, if they just kind of hover around in these regions, then that will help the altcoins pump. If they both, Bitcoin and Ethereum, decide to just crash and dump 30%, that's going to definitely have an effect on the altcoins. So yes, guys, Zilliqa looks very, very bullish. Yes, it does. But that bullishness is contingent upon Ethereum and Bitcoin keeping it together for the next few days and weeks here. So if anything interesting else happens with Zilliqa here, uh, we'll definitely be talking about it in our Discord group. Link to join that will be down in the description below. Unfortunately, we only accept awesome people. We're, we're limiting it to only awesome people who want to make money. Now, if you are an awesome person who's interested in making money, consider our Discord. If you're not that, I'm afraid you can't join. That's it from, from me, y'all. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. Links for everything down in the description below. Take care.